One day you may find yourself in a life or death situation, perhaps whilst in your own home, but most likely when traveling or taking part in some sort of extreme sport. Without the proper preparation or knowledge, you could find yourself in serious trouble. Welcome to Curiosity and join us as we count seven survival hacks that will save your life. Before we start, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications and drop a like on the video. Once you've done this, comment down below and I'll be sure to heart your comment and we'll be subscribing to your guys' channels. If you find yourself alone in the wilderness after getting lost on a hike or camping trip, one of the most important things is to get a fire started as soon as possible. In the absence of paper or lighter fluid, it can be tricky to get this going. So here's some alternate methods. Doritos or any other corn chips are surprisingly flammable and will work well to get a quick flame. Once ignited, use them to get your campfire going. If you didn't bring any Doritos with you, go to your first aid kit and grab the alcohol cleansing swabs. These are very quick and easy to ignite and will give you a solid flame for around 60 seconds. If you fall and cut yourself in a survival situation, you risk losing too much blood or getting a nasty infection. You could go into your first aid kit to get some bandages, but what if you need stitches? Well, unless you're with someone that knows how to stitch wounds, you could be in trouble. This is where super glue comes in. Simply pinch the wound close and apply super glue to the surrounding skin. Despite what you may think, this is actually perfectly safe and will do a great job of holding the wound shut whilst you find a hospital. Again, imagine you're out hiking and take a nasty fall, but this time you've badly hurt your arm and suspect it might be broken. You can make a temporary sling out of a t-shirt or blanket. This will take the weight of your arm and reduce the pain whilst you get to a hospital. Put my right arm, my elbow down into the shirt so that it's holding it pretty good. Right like this. Then you can go ahead and actually use the left armhole and go ahead and put your, your hand right through. So now you kind of have an emergency sling. You can make a fish trap from a two litre bottle. This trap is quite hard to explain, but relatively easy to make. So watch this short video to find out how. Front section off, the top section off, and invert it into the bottle into itself and stick it in there. What I do is I'll usually tie using some bank line or some cordage like that and tie one, put a hole in, in the top and, and one in the main part of the bottle and tie it on there to keep it you know, together. I see a lot of guys tie it in all the way around, but then you have to break apart the, the whole bottle rig to get your uh, bait out or whatever, your uh, fish out to eat. All right, guys, so uh, we already finished this vi video, but I was uh, trying the fish trap out just to see, you know, just for a few minutes before we wrapped up filming for the day, and uh, I caught a bait fish. And this was in here literally for about maybe two minutes. You can see them down in there. Actually, there's two of them. There's two of them. See? Yeah, one here and one here. Yeah, and that was just two minutes, you know? Maybe a minute, not even. But uh, the trap works, and if I'd spent more time doing it, I'd have a ton more of these used for, to catch more fish or eat these themselves. Obviously, it would be hard to catch bigger fish in this trap, but it's a good way to catch the small ones. Huge jugs of water make great lamps. Just make sure the jug is full, wrap a head torch around it, and turn the torch on. Now watch the jug illuminate the whole room. Improvised compass. This is one of the oldest and most useful survival hacks out there. All you need is a cup or puddle of water that is dead still, a leaf, and a sewing needle. Lay the leaf in the water and gently place the needle on top of the leaf. It will now start spinning before settling and staying still. The direction in which the needle is now pointing will always be north. Did you know you can actually make a smoke bomb from a ping pong ball? These balls are incredibly flammable and by wrapping tin foil around the ball whilst leaving a funnel for air, you can make a pretty effective smoke bomb. Just put a flame to the bottom of the tin foil wrap ball and the smoke will soon start emerging. This will work as a great SOS signal. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. 
tell us below which survival hack was your favourite and as always we'll see you in the next one.